Hey folks, how are you doing? And uh, ahoj Vetka, <laughs> sorry, I was a uh, message a little hi to a family member, it was just a joke. A uh, couple things I want to show you, uh, got myself a utility tag from my buddy Muddy, pimped by Tough Thumbs. I, I love it, it was a great deal and I, you guys know Tough Thumbs is my good friend and uh, I love his work. So even one of his earlier jobs, still pretty sweet, that natural rock pattern, it's nice. And I wanted you to attack for a while. I think this is the old version with 440C. And uh, I just needed to sharpen it. But it's uh, it's wicked sharp now. You see that really nice convex edge. Pretty pretty high angle. Like pretty good, uh, good for a pocket knife. Really good deal. Happy that I got it. Uh, this is a couple of those sheets. Uh, this friction folder. Came out pretty sweet. You see that the... Uh, the print is gone because you have to, you know, reheat it and let it expand so you can actually remove that knife. It's hard when it's not on the belt. But it goes nice and easy, it's super secure. Good for the good for the belt carry upside down, that's the way I like it. Just needs to be like get used to it, but pretty sweet. Kinda like how it came out. This one is folded over on the bottom. Did that backer sheet, the one I pr uh, for a friend that I promised a while back. Again, pretty sweet. I, I dread to do backers. I just, I did so many of them. They're kind of annoying. Because <laughs> they're not as easy. And, uh, but it came out good. Did that uh, two holes for the, you see I had to remold it. Two, two holes for the tech lug if you want to put it up here. On the back side. And uh, did this orange sheet that came out pretty nice for the knife that I sold this weekend for this one. <sighs> nice sheet, good retention, really easy to remove. And the star of the day is this guy. I did it today. It's, uh, it's gonna be a special gift for my good friend. I'm not gonna say who. Hopefully we will see it. Maple Brawl. I polished everything. I polished even this. He likes polished stuff. He likes wood. So let's see what he's gonna have to say about this. Uh, came out pretty sweet. You see that high gloss on that wood. Really nice te uh, the print, the, the bros. And uh, went extra mile for the blade. You see it's almost... I think this is the best one so far what I did in mirror polishing you can uh, there are some minor minor all the way on top the like microscopic you see them there microscopic grind lines the the residue of them and then uh, some little bit on the edge somewhere down here you see them there but super microscopic you won't really even see them and uh, it came out pretty sweet it's really high high polish almost mirror pretty much mirror fi mirror finish blade the overall blade is nice you have little recurve huge belly and the whole thing is like kind of upswept with that uh, like hint of reverse tanto and uh, the overall knife is I like it it's it's really nice piece I hope he's gonna like it too you see me there it's did the uh, G blue G10 liners just to make it a little different and I think that w works well also not only the orange works really well with the maple but also the blue and the red one it's pretty much anything I think that you put under it will 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 be nice so let me know what you think guys I think uh, this, oh, this one has this sheet nice brown again good retention easy to remove I hope it won't be scratching the that finish that I worked so hard for. But so far it looks good that it, it shouldn't be scratching it. Pretty sweet, no? I, I kinda like it. I went a little extra mile to polish everything. You see the... This one is pretty much spotless. Like really one of the best in the fit and finish I think so far that I did. So let me know what you think guys. Thank you for watching. Take care, stay safe and remember don't cut yourself.